All right, Disneyans of YouTube. I'm um, gonna try something to keep the camera a little bit steadier this time. If it gets a little wonky, I apologize. But like I said, trying out new things. Um, here is the Titan Gladiator that I've been working on. Uh, just got the skin base coat down. And as you can tell, I primed in black. And my current plan is to use the black areas to highlight and leave leave the recesses completely black and then do like gold metal across the uh, raised areas of the armor I'm not sure what they're called and kind of like what the battle box has on it um, I'm trying my paint thinning for the first time uh, what I ended up doing was thinning down the gray that I used for his skin color it went on really good I had to put about two coats but I think I got pretty good coverage I mean it's decent coverage, and I'm not seeing a whole lot of detail that's been covered up. Um, and then I ended up doing a, uh, a white and thinning it and putting it over all the areas I was going to put red. And then I thinned down the red, put the red on, and, well, white and red makes it more pink looking. It will not stay pink. I do not want the pink scorn battle box or anything else. Um, but I'm going to try it, see how it goes. Uh, other than that, not a whole lot been going on on the War Machine side of the house. I've been trying to get some demos scheduled. And, of course, to do the demos properly, I would like to have fully painted battle boxes. But so long as I've got the base coats down, I'm not going to worry about super high detail on a, a battle box type game. Um, so anybody that's painted Scorn, how'd you do the red? Red is the hardest color I've ever tried to paint, short of yellow. Excuse me. Um, so any suggestions are welcome. I'm currently using the Privateer Press uh, Sanguinian Base is what this color is. And then I have the highlight that I will put over this. And then I've got another red that if I still want to highlight it a little bit more or lighten it up some, I can. Um, also thinning paints. I'm, I'm using a, one drop of paint thinner and then dipping my brush into the paint and mixing it in a little spot getting it at about the consistency I want, but as you can see on the flag here, there are these nice wavy lines that I did not think would be there. I think I can fix this through continued application and layers of paint, um, but I'm not 100% sure on that one. So at any rate, a quick War Machine and Hordes update for the Scorn here. Um, this gives you a basic idea of, of the paint job. It's not the best in the world. I'm not the best painter in the world. But at the same time, th this is this is just for demoing. I'm not entering any competitions. Um, so this is what it, where it's at at the moment. Um, these black areas here will probably end up being a gold or a, a lightly colored bronze or a brass. Um, and uh, the ropes in here. Uh, see if I can get the light. To, yeah, the ropes down there will be very interesting to paint. Um, but so far, I'm happy with this model. I'm happy with the, the SCORE models as a whole, short some of the assembly issues I had in one of the previous videos. But like I said, comment, like, subscribe. I hope you all continue to enjoy this series of videos, and I will continue to update you as my progress towards having a second painted battle box continues. Have a good one.